training lesson on the employment of the AGM-65 Maverick. In this lesson, we'll practice targeting and firing live Mavericks against a number of targets on the weapon's range. The AGM-65 Maverick is a precision-guided, standoff, air-to-ground missile that is best suited against armored, air defense, and fortified targets. The Maverick can only be loaded on stations 3 and 9, and either from the Lao-117 single-rail launcher or the Lao-88 triple-rail launcher. The Maverick family of missiles includes several versions that differ in seeker and warhead types. The Maverick is a fire-and-forget weapon, meaning once launched you no longer need to guide the weapon. Practical engagement range of the Maverick is generally restricted by a seeker lock-on range, and this generally happens between 3 and 7 nautical miles. When entering a combat area, you may wish to use the Maverick to eliminate any air defense units prior to approaching the target. Combat Maverick versions carried by the A-10C include AGM-65D, imaging infrared seeker with a 125-pound shaped warhead, can be loaded on Lao-117 or up to 3 on a Lao-88. AGM-65G, imaging infrared seeker with a 300-pound heavyweight penetrator warhead, can be loaded on Lao-117. AGM-65H, electro-optical seeker with a 125-pound shaped warhead, can be loaded on Lao-117 or up to 3 on a Lao-88. AGM-65K, electro-optical seeker with a 300-pound heavyweight penetrator warhead, can be loaded on Lao-117. Let's review our payload on the DSMS page. Press OSB 14. Today, we are carrying two AGM-65Ds on Stations 3 and two AGM-65Hs on Stations 9. Press OSB 2 to access the missile control page. All Maverick types require approximately three minutes to align the Seeker gyroscope before being available for use or displaying a video signal from the Seeker. As discussed in the DSMS lesson, you can use this page to set automatic Seeker power on at a specific clock time or the aircraft's location relative to a specific waypoint. However, because the weapons range is nearby, let's go ahead and start the alignment process now. Press OSB 4 to engage the EO electro-optical power on. The EO timer at the bottom right corner of the left MFCD now indicates time since EO power was applied. Now set the right MFCD to the MAV page with OSB 14. The MAV page is indicating a line while the missile seeker heads are aligning. Once the alignment process is complete, it will begin to display video from the priority missile. The sensor indication along the left side of the display means that no Maverick profile is selected for fire and the missile is being used as an EO sensor. To make the Maverick easier to control, let's slow down the slew rate. Enter 2 into the UFC scratch pad, followed by OSB 8 on the MAV page. You can adjust the slew rate as desired throughout this mission. Press the spacebar key to proceed when set. Set your steer point for waypoint 2 and proceed with the takeoff. Set the master arm switch to on. To employ the Maverick most effectively, it's best to first designate a sensor point of interest, speed, in the target area, and then use the slave all sensors to speed command on the hold task to slave the Maverick to the speed. You can then slew the seeker closer to the target, and once the missile is tracking, fire away.
Waypoint 3 marks the target range. Set your steer point for Waypoint 3, range, and turn right to put the target range at your 12 o'clock. The map based camera, which is not suitable for low light visibility operations. Unlike the ATM 65D on Station 3, which uses an IR infrared camera. Keep your airspeed around 200 knots so we have enough time to prepare for the attack. With the HUD set as soy, press the HOTAS Demons Flight Command to select the ATM 65H profile on Station 9. A dynamic launch zone, DLZ, has replaced the sensor indication on the left side of the MAV page. The DLZ consists of a collection of indicators that displays the Maverick's maximum and minimum range, allowable launch window, the current target range, and the estimated time of flight at the bottom of the DLZ. On the HUD, the wagon wheel indicates the missile line of sight, LOS, and will move as you slew the seeker. Make the Mavic soy by pressing the Hotas Cooley Switch Right Long Command or holding the K key on the keyboard. Your first target will be a pair of T-72s on the southwest corner of the array. The target is now marked with red smoke. Waypoint 3 range is set directly over the target array. Because the current steer point is set by default as the speed, we can quickly slew the Maverick to the target location by pressing the Hotest China Hat Forward Long Command while holding the V key on the keyboard. The four field of view FOV corner markers around the center of the display indicate the visible area of the narrow field of view setting. Zoom in on the target by changing the MAV FOV to narrow by pressing the HOTAS China Hat Forward Short Command or the V key on the keyboard. The pointing cross below the center of the crosshairs indicates the seeker LOS relative to the nose of the aircraft. To target using the Maverick, we need to slew the secret LOS toward the target using the whole test slew control switch or the semicolon, comma, period, and forward slash keys on the keyboard. The seeker will attempt to automatically lock onto a contrasting target whenever the slew control switch is released. Because lock on range is highly variable, it may take some time and a few attempts before the seeker is able to find a target to prevent you from having to consistently slew the seeker head to maintain LOS to the target. You can ground stabilize the missile in the target vicinity by pressing the whole task team is down command or left control and down arrow keys on the keyboard. Try now to lock one of the T-72s marked as your target. Once the target is acquired, the crosshairs will clamp on it and the pointing cross will begin to flash. At this point, you can fire the missile. Rifle. Good hit on that target. Let's come off the target now and fly a few miles out for a second pass with the HEM 65H. Maintain 6,000 feet. Employment of the HEM 65D will be identical, except the video will be in imaging infrared IIR. You can use the HOTAF both switch forward and aft commands to select between white and black map indication on the MFC. Setting the boat switch in the center position will engage the Maverick Force Correlate Mode, which can be used to track a specific point of a larger target, such as a building. Before we roll in for the second pass, let's review the targeting procedure. Select the ATM-65H using either the Select Rocker Key on the UFC, or by making the HUD soy and pressing the Hotest Demon's left-right commands or page down delete keys on the keyboard. Slave all sensors to speed by pressing the Hotas China Hat Forward Long Command or hold the V key on the keyboard. Select Narrow FOV for the Maverick by pressing the Hotas China Hat Forward Short Command or the V key on the keyboard. Slew the seeker toward the target until it acquires a lock. Ground stabilize if necessary by pressing the Hotas Teamus Down Command or left control and down arrow keys on the keyboard. Fire once in range. If you need to reset the Maverick to Boresight HUD Center, 
Press the hold test China had aft short command or the C key on the keyboard. Your second target will be a pair of air defense vehicles on the northeast corner of the array. The target is now marked with red smoke. Make sure you have waypoint 3 range selected as the steer point and turn back towards the target array. Rifle. Pull up! Pull up! Good hit on the second target. Altitude! Altitude! This concludes the training lesson on the employment of the HEM-65 Maverick missile. You've got another two shots remaining to practice against the remaining targets. Altitude, alt, pull up, pull up. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Pull up, pull up. Altitude, altitude. Pull up, pull up.